What we undertook to do was robotics and in particular uh, computer vision in, in connection with robotics. AI researchers figured that for programs to perform more like humans, they needed to be coupled with hardware to see, hear, and feel. Robot arms attached to TV cameras could perform very rudimentary tasks, such as moving colored blocks. But a dreadful paradox became apparent. While AI computer programs could easily outstrip human performance at calculus, when coupled with a mechanical appendage, they could barely achieve the hand-eye coordination of a toddler. Giving the basic sensory perceptions our brains accomplish effortlessly to robots was proving to be a Herculean task. In hindsight, of course, it's obvious that those are actually the hard parts because those are the things that human beings have done as a life or death matter for most of our evolution. Yet while other labs struggled with these problems, Stanford Research Institute, or SRI, made history in 1969 by producing Shaky, the first ever reasoning robot that was mobile. Standing five feet tall, Shaky was driven by two motors and had a TV camera and radio link to an off-board computer. It could navigate, keeping track of its position and speed by counting wheel revolutions. We wanted a system to be able to uh, learn a little bit about its world, make a map, use that map to uh, figure out how to uh, make motion throughout its world, how to, how to uh, move. Lacking a complex vision system, Shaky's world was a simply painted geometric environment, deliberately making it easier to perform the higher functions of learning and planning. Shaky could perform simple tasks such as moving a block from one place to another. From a general command, Shaky would assess the state of the world around it and deduce what it needed to do to complete the task. And in fact, uh, it worked very well. You could go in and move the boxes while the robot was performing some plan. It would recognize that things were going wrong. It would replan and it would figure out what to do again. Um, just, just a phenomenal idea. We put together a component in uh, the area of computer vision, in the area of planning, and we put these together into a system that uh, functioned smoothly uh, all in, as one integrated device. And I think that was probably the first time uh, that uh, so many different components, so many different parts of artificial intelligence were put together into one system. But even though Shaky's brain was impressive, spontaneity was not its strong point. Every move took more than an hour to compute, and even then, there was a high chance of failure. Over at Stanford University in the early 70s, they were having problems of a different nature with their robot vehicle, namely trying to keep it under control. The AI lab was experimenting with the famous Stanford cart, a mobile robot which, unlike Shaky, could see and navigate in any environment. The cart had on it a television camera, and uh, we illegally used an unused television channel, and uh, we used model airplane type controller to get the information back to the cart. From 1971 to 1979, AI students like Hans Moravec wrote programs which developed the cart from a dimly aware road hazard to a machine able to track its path from the horizontal shape of the skyline. You could use it indoors or outdoors. You could move chairs and tables. You didn't need special kinds of objects. Uh, it could recognize just about anything. In fact, natural objects worked better uh, with the cart. The cart had one camera that took a series of nine images from which it would gauge the distance to an object by using nine separate coordinates. Its performance, however, still lacked perfection. On a good day in 1979, it could successfully cross a cluttered 30-meter space, but it took five hours to do so. 
The dreams of AI roboticists were constantly pulled back down to Earth by the harsh reality of current technology. But upgrades in computer processing power did lead to progress. Flaky, son of Shaky, emerged at SRI in the late 70s. Roving SRI like a distant cousin of R2-D2, Flaky could interpret even vague statements from its master and perform an appropriate action. I want Leslie to have the bagel. Enter. I want Leslie to have the bagel. Finished successfully parsing sentence. The master only said he wanted Leslie to have a bagel. Flaky reasoned he must find her and deliver it. The idea at that point was that you were trying to make a robot that would essentially be uh, a robotic person. That is, it would have all the capabilities, hopefully, eventually, of a person self-contained within this one box. Flaky saw through a TV camera eye. Its sonar sensors were hooked up to a map-making program, which plotted and stored information. It's able to move in real time. Uh, it builds up its model of the world very quickly, say, as it moves down the corridor. It figures out that it's in a corridor, that it hits an opening like a door, that it's supposed to turn in that door, and that it actually does turn into that doorway. By the late 80s, Flaky was given stereoscopic vision and enhanced speech recognition software. But it was still a far cry from the goal of human equivalent robots envisioned by the pioneers of AI at the dawn of the computer age. Sign here. Robots will return in a moment here on the History Channel. Chow, chow, chow! Samson's so healthy. Know why? Cat Chow has advanced nutrition with omega-6 fatty acids to help keep his immune system healthy inside, skin and coat healthy outside. Purina Cat Chow for a healthy cat. So close. Fast. The Remington Microscreen 3 gives you three things no other shaver can. Our most powerful motor, 150 cutting edges, and three flexing microscreens. Guaranteed to get you smooth. The Remington Microscreen 3. Secret shortcuts. Back roads. Winding trails. Thankfully, a truck that appreciates your sense of direction. A truck with four available suspensions that handles even when fully loaded. The GMC Sonoma, created with nearly 100 years of GMC commitment and a devotion to true truck capability. Get your hands on a 98 Sonoma and drive away with $2,000 cash back or 0.9% APR financing. The Sonoma from GMC. Modern Marvels. There's so much you can do with a prosthesis nowadays. Run a race, drive a car, take a swing, or ride a bike. Electronic hands that grab, limbs that sense and feel. The next generation in a legacy of innovation. From iron limbs to high-tech plastics. The long journey to state-of-the-art replacement parts. Prosthetics, Monday at 10 Eastern, 11 Pacific, on an all-new Modern Marvels. MCI Five Cents Sundays. Five. I need passion, depth, I need intensity. MCI Five Cents Sundays. Five cents a minute Cut. every Sunday. Think big. Think Shakespeare. Five cents a minute every Sunday. Five cents a minute every Sunday. I ask for an actor, they send a comedian. Call 1-800-SUNDAYS to become an MCI customer. Again? Call 1-800-SUNDAYS. This young man is about to save a life. Would you know what to do? If you arrive first, have someone go for help. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Hey guys, call for help. Then, to reduce the risk of fire, turn off the car's engine. Don't take chances if a car is burning. And never move a victim unless it's absolutely necessary. Learn more in this free book from Shell. Count on Shell. been very good this year. I worked hard and I helped around the house. So I wanted a digital camera. Uh, a 400 megahertz computer. DSS with a billion sports channels. And a big screen TV. <laughs> so what do you think? 
the latest toys for big girls and boys. Best Buy.